Hi and welcome back to my solo playthrough of Friedemann and Friese's Fayum. So far I was able to get up to 18 points in total. I need 150 for this very first challenge of the Pharaoh. And overall we already burned through some cards here. Not too many of course we also acquired some of those but there's I think still a good amount of cards left in that deck and keep in mind when this main deck runs out we are moving into this secondary deck and then within this deck there are four catastrophes and when those come out this will then trigger the end of the game currently i'm not aware of any goofs i was or i made during my very first episode pretty sure some of you may spot something but might be too late for this episode then so i think without further ado let's get into the second episode I left the last episode with um, basically after my administration step, which works slightly differently in a solo game. And those are my six cards I have. I still have two of my standard farmers in the discard pile. I decided not to go for those, but I think overall I'm already quite happy and content with the cards I was able to get. Problem is I'm not able to place my pit here legally so I also need to start building some more roads but I think this is something that should be achievable especially around that area here. So for example I could place two roads into this construction site here and this would give me at least one more space where I would be able to place the pit. But I think think I'm not going to at least not for my very first action so I'm rather sending my senior farmer into this space here because this is also a perfect spot for a settlement later on so yeah let's totally do that so again I will play my senior farmer into that area here so we are removing that crocodile which gives us another bug and because he's a senior farmer we are getting two grain out of this um yeah let's go into the next action and again game is moving really really quickly then i guess i want to use my supplier here and place a meeple into this area it doesn't really matter too much where i would place the worker but that's fine too and again this allows me to grab any two resources i definitely need one grape and uh, I think I will go for another grape so two grapes from that action here so I think this puts me into a good position to maybe construct my roads here yeah let's do that so I will play the two roads cards here so that allows me to place two more roads and I think let's do it like this again that's three points for the card and one extra point for the direct connection from this construction site to this settlement so in total that's four more points i take that and with this new site or rather stone space here it's no longer really a stone space it's now considered to be a developed space but that's exactly what we need for the pit so i'm going to spend oops one grape and one wheat for that and we are going to place a workshop into here so we are getting three more points and three more stone which we definitely might need later on anyway and of course i forgot to spend the stone here for the um road i i had i had the stone i really did have the stone at that point in time apologies for that so i'm now at four stone in total and yeah let's not forget the three points we are getting for this workshop here and maybe let's have a close a quick look at the resources we currently have so here we are really in relatively good shape we have still a lot of money and yeah that's basically our discard pile here but again no surprises there i guess next why not place the settlement in here so we are going to play the settlement card again that's one of each of the core or basic resources so a grape a stone and a wheat and that allows us to place this settlement in here keep in mind it needs to be two spaces away from the next settlement but that's really now a perfect road along the canal here giving us some points we can connect some stuff so i think overall that's definitely i think that's that's really an important spot here and definitely let's not forget we are getting three more dollars from that the currency in this game is really odd 
I highly doubt they had dollars back then. And yeah, we are also gain three more points. So we had 28. Uh, so we haven't even made it once to the 50 points here. We need to do that three times in order to consider this a win. That's insane. We are down to one card. That's this amazing sacrifice card here, which allows us to remove a card. And I think right now I don't see a reason why we shouldn't do that. So yeah, I think we still have one farm here. So let's get rid of that farmer. So it's out of the game for good. We are playing the sacrifice. So let's place one stone in here and therefore we will collect one point and three more dollars so we made it to 29 points hooray and here are our three dollars so i think money wise we are in an okay shape in theory i could go to an administration step and hmm, maybe i could consider that the thing is, I desperately want this crocodile sacrifice here, but I highly doubt that this will get any cheaper anytime soon because it's 96 and let's say I go through the administration step first and I want to remove two more cards from here. It's not very likely that this will move down though. It's, there are still a hell of a lot of low cards in this deck, so I might as well go for it right now. I'm also very intrigued by this town here, but this is so easy points here. This is so incredibly useful. I mean, we can, oh no, we can do it several times actually. We can do it until the crocodiles are running out. Of course, only once per, I don't know, administration round or so, unless there are other ways that we can get our cards back or use them twice. Or there is a card that allows us to use a card twice. So yeah, I think let's go for it. So we are going to spend $7, definitely very, very expensive. We can get it right into our hand. So let's see what the next card is and that's the 50 and yeah as i told you problem now is yeah hmm, the town also got more expensive ah okay the 50 is also very nice that's the all-rounder so we can i think grab a card from the top or reuse a card we can gain any one resource or we can get a victory point for that so that's really a helpful card. what is this first one here actually ah come on I think um yeah we can take the topmost card of the discard part to our hand of course before we are placing the all-rounder in there hmm that's interesting but i really want the town um, but i think it's a little bit on us but the expansion is also nice now because we have two workshops now out on the board we only need to spend any one resource for three points i mean that's the card to go for i think that's pretty powerful but before we do that, we are going to play the Crocodile Sacrifice, which means we place a meeple onto any construction site. We remove any one crocodile, doesn't really matter which one. I think I might want to take one down here because again, this also helps us driving more settlements next to the canal. Maybe again, this, this car doesn't show up. But I think I have to prepare, so really knowing this deck at least a little bit definitely does help. Um, and yeah, therefore we are simply scoring ourselves three more points. And again, we didn't have to spend any resources whatsoever. Ah, question now is, should we keep buying stuff? Because the more we buy, the more expensive, the more money we have to spend to get our cards back. And I have seen Henning from to F speed a play I think it was on game night from what I can remember and the way how efficient he played with those cards I think he had a very small deck actually quite impressed but again I'm the one I see a card <laughs> I want to use that card and I'm still relatively new to this game so that's why I still like to experiment with it a little bit so maybe I should consider going for the expansion here because again it works also very nicely with uh, my pit card for example I already have two workshops out so that's already six points for only two resources I have to spend and together with us and really neat cards that give me relatively easy money this is not easy money that's six points but i need to spend three resources but also give me two more coins and of course it also works together with my settlement card that's really this the crux of the game here where you have to balance things out ah really i don't have that much money left anymore i think i'm at 15 dollars which is not bad but also not great 
so here I could really wait and say let's let's maybe see that this at least goes to four or maybe a three the migrant farmer is also a great one because giving me a lot of flexibility and allowing me to remove crocodiles but I have the senior farmer and I have this crocodile sacrifice which also allows me to remove crocodiles so I think this might also not be our most immediate or important card to get so I guess we are calling it around yeah let's do it so we are out of cards which means we simply gain three dollars for that so three minus zero is still three we can remove up to two farmers our workers i think i want to hold on to at least this one let's get rid of this guy here for sure uh, up there it doesn't really matter too much actually i think maybe we should still go yeah let's take one off down here from the other settlement yeah that's fine so we are getting two more dollars from that so i think overall we should be now at 20 dollars i really do have to do some changes here or some exchange getting some higher bills actually dollar bills or pharaoh bills or whatever those are and then yeah we have to take back cards and again the top three are for free that's the crocodile sacrifice the other sacrifice so we're really sacrificing a hell of a lot of folks here but those were the times i think we definitely want to hold on to the pit even though i really also have to build roads for that but again that's one dollar right yeah that's the extra card so that's one dollar here two roads is a must so that's two more dollars and the supplier is also a must so that's three more dollars so basically i spent six dollars just to get cards back and we have the senior farmer that's four more dollars Ooh, now that's a toughie yeah of course it's no longer the farm because we got rid of the second farmer do i need, i mean we have a lot of resources and i think with the supply i think we can hold on to this senior farmer for one round i mean we have the money but six or four dollars now four dollars right four more dollars i might hate myself for that but i think i'm not going to no we are stopping here we are replenishing the market and i guess i really will get rid of those two cards this is great this can be great i think we don't need those unless we are saying hey we don't have the senior farmer here but we have this guy so maybe oh that was the sorry wrong order so we are definitely getting rid of the all round i think that's it's not a bad card but and now it's between those three and they're all great i mean this is really a lot of points and this is no points we want points i really we would need points ah it's tough yeah i think we have to get rid of the migrant farmer i'm pretty sure i will i will regret this first card is a six that's another senior farm okay that's not bad that's actually really not bad so we could get another senior farmer we basically it would have cost us four dollars to take it back from the hand and now we are getting him for for three dollars i mean i think that's a bargain you have the stone trader works similarly to the supplier but he really gives you stone which is also not bad because sooner or later you won't be able to place any more pits out there because i don't know you have to have the spaces and you always have to have those roads and this is definitely a great supply of card and i think this is wrong sorry i should really start paying attention rather than talking too much here so i could get this for four now i think that's definitely tempting but yeah that was our administration so huh, back to actions and looking at our cards the one problem we have we don't have a hell of a lot of cards that give us dollars we have a lot of i mean this sacrifice okay that's a good one but apart from that yeah okay the settlement too but i'm yeah okay let's see <laughs> not sure not sure we will figure things out um okay as for our first action i guess we are going for these two roads here yeah let's do that so we are playing the two roads and now we have to spend two grain so basically one here and one here yes i will replace it with actual roads just showing you again that's three points for the roads and one extra point for the first direct connection between those two settlements here so that's four in total bringing us up to 
36 points. So we are coming at least somewhat closer to the 50. But again, one times 50 doesn't help us. We need three times 50. And wow. The second card might be the standard sacrifice here. So we are getting rid of our last farmer. So our starting card is gone for good. We are placing another stone here but now into this because again we have to place a worker there right no we don't actually no we don't so i could have completed the other one doesn't really does it matter it might it actually might so let's place it here let's finish this construction site up here for whatever reason i thought you were also placing a meeple but of course that's not gonna happen because again there are cards later on. i think it's the mummy where you are basically placing a meeple there for a sacrifice or so similar to sacrifice and then you get some bonus points for actual stones on that side that's why you really want to complete those if you happen to get this card for a reasonable price that is but still we are getting one more point up to 30 seven and what's also important we are getting three dollars for that card yeah so we have definitely thinned out our deck here the problem is i'm not sure how often we can continue to play this sacrifice card here because at some point in time you really don't want to lose too many cards now i've got rid of those three basic farmers which is okay but yeah sooner or later i don't know i mean we can still get rid of the senior farmer because i'm pretty sure that the next thing we are doing is to go for this senior farmer here for three dollars again it's definitely much cheaper this way we're taking him into our hand we are replenishing right away and that's the grape supplier also nice but of course he's a little bit limited to grapes but still for three may not be our worst choice and i guess then it is time to play our supplier we already have so let's oops let's place him into our starting settlement here and we gain any two resources and i think i definitely want one grain and maybe we are simply going for two grains right yeah let's do that that was this car then i guess we are going with our newly acquired senior farmer and ah maybe okay maybe let's let me take that back we are placing the senior farmer in here i guess so we shouldn't yeah i think let's not for the supplier i think we might have chosen um differently i guess so we are chosen a grape and maybe another grape does it matter too much let's go for two grapes instead for the supplier we played before so apologies for taking that back but i think it's still good enough and now we are playing the senior farmer into this space here again needs to be adjacent we are removing the crocodile therefore we are getting the dollar and we're getting the two grain so i think resource wise we are again in an okay state i would say but then what next the pit is not gonna happen because we don't have oh we do actually actually we do as i nearly forgot we have this starting bridge down there and again this bridge counts as a road for at least these kind of matters so we could place the pit in either of those spaces down there maybe we should yeah this gives us a, still a lot of stone so we may not need to worry about stone for the rest of the game yeah i'm definitely exaggerating here but definitely i think yeah let's go for it so we are spending the grape and the wheat we're getting three stones out of this and again the idea is to go for the expansion relatively soon so we are also maximizing the output from that and then we are placing this either here or there doesn't really matter where we're placing this and we also get three more points up to 40 i take that the crocodile sad sacrifice goes without saying and this is the space where we really needed to be empty so we are placing it here we are removing a crocodile from somewhere hmm does it matter i don't know actually hmm maybe yeah let's let's remove this one here we're not getting any bucks for that but that's three more points moving us up to 43 we are down to one card but i guess before we are calling we have the settlement but i think we cannot place the settle of course we can place the settlement legally yeah we could but I think it's not that important right now it gives us some money though let's hold on to that i think we are spending four dollars here for the expansion now 
So that's the money. We are grabbing this card. Goes into our hand. Let's see what's coming out. That's the 14. That's the wheat supplier. Pretty much working the same way like the grape supplier. Really great cards, very inexpensive cards and gives you resources like crazy. Yeah, I should really not clock up my deck too much. I think let's next use the expansion here. And here it doesn't really matter at all where I'm placing it. So I'm going to do it like this. But this really works very, very nice. And I just read a comment that um, someone didn't like the artwork here. It looks like a 2005 board game. Yes, it does. But <laughs> for whatever reason, it's very clear. And that's kind of the 2F signature style or so. But it works. It's for me. It, I really like the components, those crocodiles, the resources. And again, everything is very functional. And this is what I really also prefer in a game. And it's I, I really I'm a sucker for theme and, and everything, so don't get me wrong, but still it feels thematic to me. So there is this papyrus game board here with the towns. The artwork is kind of Egyptian or ancient Egyptian. So I like it. I really like it. But I can also understand that someone would say coming from a modern board game industry that this might not be the most modern graphic design whatsoever. But again, I, I kind of like this. I still have to spend resources. I was stalling and maybe I could talk it away. But no, I'm not. So we are spending exactly one stone for three more points. I take that. Originally, I was thinking about taking administration action, but I think I have to stall as long as I can. So as long as I have resources, I should use those. So I'm going for another settlement here and it will go again next to the canal here. And therefore I have to spend one, two, three. It's really a pity that this small settlement or so didn't show up. There's a much more efficient settlement out there, but I think I already have built now. That's the fourth settlement. So I might still be worth it actually to get this. There's still a lot of those red discs available. So I spent my resources. I'm getting three coin or three dollars, three Egyptian dollars. I think that's still important. And we nearly made it to 50 points. Okay, um, that's at least something. It feels like progress to some extent. So I'm down to zero cards. I could still buy cards, but the only card I desperately want, I mean, they're all cool, don't get me wrong, but the, this is the, really the card to go for. But I don't want to spend $7 on that. So I think I'm going to pass again. I'm down to zero cards, which means I get $3. So I will take $5 now because I will definitely remove two workers. The question is which one? So we definitely need, I mean, we have a lot of settlements. Let's take one off here. Ah, yeah. And I think we want to keep those guys moving too. Well, that's tough. It's really tough. But I think right now we are not blocking us out too much. So maybe get one else from a settlement doesn't really matter where or should we keep no let's keep this guy here let's remove this one again don't ask me why just a feeling then we are getting our cards back so these three are free of charge and then again we have to spend a hell of a lot of money i do want the pit because we can use the pit at least one more time without building any more roads that is that's one dollar, right? Let's not forget that. We take the new senior farmer. That's two more dollars. The next one would be already three dollars, right? But the supplier is important. Let's go for another supplier. So we are now at six dollars here that we have to spend. And the sacrifice, that's four dollars. This, this stuff gets so incredibly expensive in the solo mode. But that's... that's uh, but okay, that's here's the question. <laughs> I mean, I need the roads now. And this was really incredibly stupid that I played the two roads um, before I played anything else. This should be really one of my last cards to play just because I really need it. Question is, do I need it now? Maybe I really have to pass earlier on next next time because it, it's really getting extremely expensive. So I would need to spend now... Um, I think it's now four dollars for this card but again we're getting three and a victory point and i'm pretty sure victory point is more worth than a dollar so i guess i'm spending so we have already spent 10 but i guess we are stopping here 
with the two roads oh, it's so tough really don't have a lot of cards that give me money and there are no out there yet but okay maybe that's something we can change now as yeah we can or we have to remove two more cards um hmm. stone trader i mean these are all the traders now they came out at the very same time and that's kind of a bummer i think i have right now i think stone can go for now because we have currently still other means getting stone i think that's okay we still have four stone left so i think this was kind of an easy choice and here it basically doesn't really matter too much it's one or the other still want to hold on to the town on the other hand i also know there is a small town but this already gives us five points this is six points so i guess so again I could roll a die because there are still a lot more spaces right now with grapes I can read. So maybe that should drive my decision. So yeah, let's remove the grapes card for now. And we are drawing two more. That's the vineyard. Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, works similar to the pit, but on wine, obviously. So maybe that was not a bad idea. And that's the two. Oh, the two. That's the gardener. The gardener is great because he gives you roses and roses are wild. But he doesn't do anything else other than also removing crocodiles. So that's also not the worst thing in the world. Ha, interesting. So we are still, I think we have still a lot of cards left. So I will definitely go for one more round and then I might call it for today. I really don't have a clue what I'm doing here so i might want to go for the expansion i'm pretty sure you can kind of in your head calculate things through but that's not who i am so i'm playing this expansion i need to spend any one resource again doesn't really matter but i still have a lot of stone that's why i'm spending stone i don't have to spend stone here this could be a grape for example it's any one resource and we are building another expansion the thing is i only have five of those in the game and when those are out those are out but therefore we are getting three more points which brings us to 50 52 points so yeah we have owned ourselves a 50 point marker that's not too bad at all but we still have a hell of a i think i really have to call the administration much early because i cannot keep going the way i'm spending the money on getting those cards so i guess we are going for another sacrifice because that's one point and three coin i need the coin i think that's the important piece we are getting rid of the original senior farmer here also removing him from the game and yeah we are simply placing that thing Pff, i don't know it doesn't really matter too much into here maybe we can complete this pyramid highly doubt it but who knows and again we are getting one point so we are up to 53 and three dollars that's the important piece i think i will collect i will be able or I'm willing to buy at least two cards, but not more this round. So I think I can still play two cards before I'm calling it. Yeah, might be, but that's that's fine. So I will definitely go for, hmm, I need resources. So I'm going to play the supplier here, goes into a settlement. And yeah, I will go for two, do I want to? Hmm, same question now. I think I will go for one grain and one grape actually. I think this might be really now a resource term, basically prepping myself for the next round. And I guess we are going with a senior farmer. Somewhere up here, doesn't really matter too much, I guess. So let's go in here. Placing a farmer there that gives us at least a dollar, so which is never a bad thing. And we are getting two grain again. Yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, so we have now five cards on our discard pile and three cards in hand. So when I call it around now, so I'm going to an administration, not getting any money for my hand, but I will still get two bucks for the meeples. So I think that's still fair so yeah let's do it like this i will simply remove two meeples from anywhere it doesn't really matter too much i guess so let's take on this guy here so those are the two meeples this gives us two more dollars at least so that's certainly something we are getting those three cards back and i think i really need 
all of those cards back for the next round, which means I have to spend three dollars. So we lost one dollar for this administration, but this was way too soon um, that we passed because again, we are speeding through the deck. So we have bought back our cards here. So next we have to remove two cards. So uh, the gardener is cool because also he gives us this dollar for the crocodile potentially and having the rose because there's a great card later on which helps you transforming roses into victory points too. But there are also more powerful cards. I think it's a, no, not the card, but there's another card that gives you roses. So I guess I'm getting rid of this fella here for sure. What's, what's more powerful? I mean, I mean, he needs to be next to the... But that's not a problem. Doesn't even need to be adjacent to another fella. And there are still... Ah, but there are only three more spaces next to the river or next to the canal that would give me dollars. No, four actually. So that's four. Yeah, let's go with... Get rid of this one. Definitely might be a terrible mistake. One more and... Uh, Actually, I would have preferred that the game would still remove those cards randomly. It's really a torture deciding this on your own. The vineyard mm, is okay. We still have some workshops out there. It gives me resource, but this also gives me money. And uh, but when do I buy this? When do I buy this card? I will never be able to afford seven more dollars again. Oh, game, what are you doing to me? So that's three points. It also needs two resources there. No, let's get rid of the vineyard. I don't know, but let's see about that. So we have the 36, that's the thief. Allows me to grab a card from that row for free. It comes with a, um, let's say, call it penalty. We cannot take this card into our hand. It needs to go beneath the thief onto the discard pile. So that's definitely one of the down. And yeah, here we have the new settlement. That's the cheap one. So we basically have to spend two resources, two different kind of resources for three and three. Wow. Yeah, I think we really need this one here because that's that's way more efficient than our other settlement here. Yeah, I think so. We can basically then get rid of this card with our, I think was the sacrifice card, right? So I think I'm quite happy with that. And the thief is okay, but that's also a card I would be willing to, let's say, sacrifice during my next administration step. But I think for today, I will call it because I really don't have a lot of time, honestly. And I haven't heard back from you guys. If you prefer longer videos rather than shorter videos, the shorter videos is definitely something which I can do more often or makes it a little bit more easy for me because again, I'm really spending a lot of time on recording and editing my stuff, believe it or not. Um, well, that's why the shorter the videos are, the easier it is for me. But I can also understand if you say, no, I want basically my popcorn and watch Marcus screw things up for 45, 50 minutes or so. I get that. So let me know if I should continue with this pace. Maybe you can, I think it's a 30 minutes-ish kind of episode right now. And yeah, really appreciate uh, to hear from you. Um, a huge shout out to a new patron I have, Saida. Really do appreciate your support. Um, we had a nice conversation over Snowdonia on my channel. It's really, really great. And again, really appreciate your support. Also, a huge shout out to all of my other patrons, of course. I um, really also do appreciate your support your loyalty it, it's really incredible um yeah join me on patreon join me here on youtube like and subscribe everything helps and yeah really hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye